What you can do for money. Imagine a fisherman in the 18 or 1700s, he wakes up next to his beautiful, gorgeous wife amongst his children at sunrise, in the most beautiful sunrise. And he goes out into the dock and he starts fishing. He feels the, the fishing string pull and he gets one and two and three. And he actually feels really good about himself. He, you know, he's good at this skill. He's been fishing for many, many years. He comes home, passes the fish over to his wife. She cooks it. They have a lovely meal together. Daddy brought us this, this food. We eat because of him. The joy and the love that he would experience and also the purpose of him providing. I believe this kind of simple life is the one that is right for us. But others don't. What happens to this fisherman when the industrial revolution starts and the factories overtake and the, the sea is polluted? He goes out day after day, but zero fish. They've all gone. They've all died. The water's contaminated. So what is he going to do? He can't use his skill anymore. The thing that he actually enjoyed doing to provide to his family. So he needs to go work inside of the factory. He gets work inside of the factory. There he is all day. It's no longer like we wake up at sunrise, nice, beautiful time, silent. It's like this loud grinding machine, which is like chuttering in his ear, working next to other weird men who are actually being horrible towards him. Boss doesn't even like him before. Health regulations, dust, clouds, and black smoke. And here you are, chump, some gold coins. And what does he do with these coins? Well, he goes and buys a fish. And he takes that home and gives it to his family and they cook it. So don't you see that you're going to spend a few hours or many hours of your day working, contributing, doing some kind of task. You could do the wholesome task that would actually be like amazing for your life quality. Or you could go and like do the thing that might make you more money so that you can just get what you wanted from the life quality to begin with. Too many people are choosing the wrong option. This part of this guide will help you to finally figure out what to do to make money, what business model to get into, maybe what career to get into. Because for so long, I can imagine, I've spoke to many young guys, hundreds of guys have actually told me this exact same problem. They keep flipping around from business model to business model. Maybe you've wanted to try becoming a YouTuber. Maybe you've wanted to try the agency marketing or the copywriting or the uh, paid ads and all these different kind of ways to make money. You've considered a couple of careers, but you know, you like there's too many people saying bad things about careers these days, so you wouldn't do that. And you've got no idea, you're making shallow progress. You're not sure what it is that you should do with your life. You just know one thing for certain, you want to make money. That's the problem. That's why you're stuck. If you can go into step one, like we said before, and destroy that need for money. And now let's start from a baseline and let's figure out actually the right thing for you to do. This is the thing you could actually commit yourself to for decades. Imagine how good that would be. By the end of just this step here, you will have the thing that you could genuinely do for decades. That means that you'll be able to master this craft, this skill that we're about to find out for you, which means over the long run, you're going to make a lot more money than the guy who's flipping around from business model to business model. What did we learn from the story of the fisherman? It's that your life quality just comes down to like what you do with the hours of your day. And working is going to be a big part of that. The truth is that making money is nice. But if you make money while sacrificing the hours of your day to do something that wasn't like nice for you, then the benefit of the money actually sort like goes away. Like, okay, the, the, the fisherman is there in the factory. Let's say he's going to get the equivalent of like more money, more value, more resources at the end of that day. But now he's literally there working this task that he doesn't like, that isn't healthy, that pulls him away from his family, that he's not, like, kind of okay at, but not really amazing at like he is with fishing, but he makes more money that he can use to exchange for a fish. Which lifestyle would you rather have? And this, there's no real answer to this. Some men would say, yep, I just want to make the money. I just want to make the money. Those men, even though it sounds horrible, and this is speaking to younger me because he was one of those, it sounds horrible. They've, they've got 
severe problems. It, it takes years to counteract that. And I know that I, I sound like some, oh, yeah, I'm just being horrible. It's actually like the person who would sacrifice his own health and experience of life to just be able to afford something that will heighten him in society and to gain some status. It's actually worrying. Now, of course, if making a certain amount of money would genuinely save your life because you're in a war-torn country, that's different. Because think about how like gut-wrenching it is for this fisherman where he had like those hours of the day where he was doing something which was still productive. It was still getting him the resources he needed, but it was something he genuinely enjoyed. And because of that, he was able to get really good at it as well. So at this point, what you need to do is to figure out what your flow state task is. This is, in my belief, the single greatest way to go about your money-making journey is to narrow in on what's called your flow state task. This is a task that you do, that you naturally get like zero thoughts during. It's a task that you do, which could be like work for someone, but it feels fun and enjoyable, almost like a game for you. You'll know it's your flow state task because you usually will have zero thoughts whilst you do it. For me, it's always been speaking. When I speak and I give advice and I explain concepts, I always have zero thoughts in my brain. It's still hard. It's still like this demanding, difficult, strenuous task. But at the same time, I feel like I'm in some kind of weird like haze right now. Like I, I've had zero thoughts in my mind for the last one and a half hours. And that's like the peak human experience where your monkey mind quietens down and you can actually just be here present. I won't go into more detail for this flow state guide. I made a whole like two hour guide on my channel, the flow state focus guide. Just go watch that when you have the time. And until then, just think about whatever your flow state task could be. The kind of task that feels pleasant for you, but it actually still is pretty productive. It's speaking for me, maybe it's writing for you, maybe it's coaching for another person, maybe it's teaching, maybe it's like lifting weights and exercising, maybe it's, it's um, reading, like whatever it is, there's got to be something which really just aligns to you. That's the thing that you're going to use for money. That is your gift to humanity. That is something that you were born with, which is different from everyone else. I believe that that was what you were supposed to get really good at as a gift to other people. And when we use entrepreneurship in a capitalist society, when we give that gift to other people, they'll give us money in return. Do you see how my gift that I was born with, because I was four years old when I knew that I liked explaining concepts to people, this gift of speaking, I'm using to help you. And this has made me a lot of money. Imagine if I didn't do this and I just tried to chase the money and I went and worked at the warehouse. I would have made more money back then, right? I would have made more money back then. But when you find this flow state task, when you find this, this task that just feels right for you, that feels enjoyable for you, even though it might not be the thing that's going to make a lot of money, naturally you get really good at it because you just want to do it all the time so even when i'm not working i'm speaking to people i'll be in the gym and i'll end up like meeting a new person and i can't help but to like speak motivational concepts and everything at them i can't help it because it's just enjoyable for me to like say things out of my mouth and explain things in the way that i understand them myself that means that you're going to get really good at it. It means that you're going to practice 24-7 just naturally. It means that you're going to put in more hours than everyone else and actually enjoy it. And this is the best part if you're a new entrepreneur, if you're trying to figure out like, you know, which business to make. When you know your flow state task, you don't jump around from business to business because you just know the thing that you can go all in on. For me, it's speaking. So there might be, you know, YouTube, there might be Twitch or some other ways, being a motivational speaker in person. There's different things I could do, but as long as the skill, the task is consistent as it is for me, which is speaking, it narrows down like the things that I'll consider. Right now you might be thinking, wait, wait, I don't really know my flow state task. I don't even understand what it means. So I'll just ask you, what is something that is kind of like work, but you do it and it's actually kind of fun? and you often have zero thoughts in your mind whilst you do it. If you're not sure of the answer, it would be valuable for you to just keep this question in mind and maybe go through your life because there probably is something that you're doing right now or maybe something that you'll eventually find. 
where this will become more apparent. This advice is gonna sound lame, but if you just go and like try new things, sometimes you'll be able to go and find like the thing that puts you into more of a flow state. There's zero thoughts in your mind. It feels super enjoyable. You integrate with the task. You almost lose your sense of self. And why is this so hard to find? Why has no one ever taught you this before? Well, because it's not as cool. You see, when you're trying to figure out what your flow state task is, it might not be the thing that's gonna make like potentially the most mo amount of money right now. It might not be the most trending thing. And so why isn't this spoken about more? If this is such great advice, why is no one else speaking about this? I think it's because this isn't a way to guarantee that you'll make the most amount of money, but it is the way to guarantee that you will have the most amount of fulfillment and purpose in your life. So you need to choose right now. If there's one that you would sacrifice, would you sacrifice your purpose as a man or would you sacrifice more money? Let's say you're not going to be totally broke. Which one would you sacrifice? The reason why you exist or material success. Most people would literally sacrifice their purpose. That's why they stay average. That's why they stay as the 99%. But there are some strong, stoic-minded men, superior men, who would always choose purpose over the material success. School did not prepare you for this. In fact, it did the exact opposite. School brainwashed you to think that you should do whatever it takes to just get into the career that will just be the highest salary possible. School brainwashed you like that, but then unfortunately all these internet entrepreneurs brainwashed you to think that you should just do whatever business makes the most money as possible. Again, this is a weak place to come from. Why optimize your life for material success when you can optimize it for like real masculine purpose? It's just worrying because mas like seemingly masculine men say this and so it seems weird now that I'm like calling it out because you're realizing, yeah, it is fucking weird how like how they're telling you to like not follow your purpose and instead of just try and make as much money as possible. But that might not be your purpose. What if you were going to feel absolutely spiritually enlightened, happy, loved, purposeful as a man, but you were going to be more of this like starving artist kind of person where you were going to contribute to humanity greatly, but you weren't going to make much material success. And maybe at times you might be slightly like, you might be like homeless that sounds awful in some ways, but like, what if that was the life that actually would have led you to the greatest actual genuine life? Our fear of a lack of material success and status is going to make us sacrifice our purpose as men. And that is the priority of our lives. That is the reason why we exist. And every step that you take away from your purpose will always pain you. Every step that you take towards your purpose will always serve you. This is a big step towards your purpose. And again, I know that this doesn't sound very like YouTuber mode of me, but I understand if you want to take a break from this video and you want to come back in, in two or three years, I actually understand. And I know that seems like weird to say, but if 16 year old me or 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 year old me had watched this video, it would just be too overwhelming and I'd be too scared to continue watching it past a certain point. If you are gonna think to yourself, yeah, you know, this is kind of weird. Yeah, I'll think about this later. Just know that you are wasting your life in the meantime. When you go away for like a year or two, you're not gonna follow this advice for now. You've wasted those two years. You won't believe it, but eventually you will look back and realize that it was just pointless to go and pursue something that wasn't even your purpose. And there's a brilliant question that can come up right now. And you might think, okay, I know my flow state task, I, I, well, I kind of know, okay, it's probably this, this thing, right? It's probably writing, let's say. But what if it doesn't make much money? What if it can't make much money? And that's a brilliant question to ask, but I would say, don't be so sure that your flow state task might not make much money because mastering a skill over decades inevitably makes you like a high income earner comparing to the person who's just flipping around business models. So you're definitely gonna be better off going all in on something that's not very profitable than like flipping around and not making any progress in profitable businesses that you're not even actually making progress in. The beauty of going all in on your flow state task, like your gift to humanity, for me it's speaking, is that this is the thing that you can do for decades. And over that amount of time, what is trending, what makes a lot of money right now. Inevitably that changes. And if it crosses and overlaps onto your gift, you will make a lot of money. So for example, when I first started like these YouTube videos and it felt really good to do it, I didn't know about this concept of flow states. It just felt kind of like right for me to give advice to people to speak. 
eventually I started making a lot of money from this and I had to learn all the skills and, you know, go through the trials and tribulations and everything. But I didn't start thinking that I would make this much money. I just wanted to make like one or $2,000 a month. That was it. I literally just wanted to make enough so I didn't need to work like a full time job that I hated. It just so happened that the sort of market of where the money is going moved onto social media, attention, influencers, and I happened to just grow like crazy. I don't believe I got lucky in the growth of my channel. I think I really put in the work for that and I leveled up the skill, but I certainly got lucky with the fact that at this time when I had been leveling up my skill was when like the new meta of making money is now currently on like social media influencers. Like, it's like that's like the, the best job or business that you can begin right now for like young sort of not that extremely experienced people. Now, straight away, you might be thinking, okay, sweet, so I'll just do that. But again, don't just follow the money because this will change. This will have inevitably change in the next few years. It's like, you know, people might find like influencers and YouTubers cringe in five or 10 years from now. And this AI and there's so many new things coming out that like the market will eventually change. If you're following the market like a little dog seeing, okay, what's trending right now, then you're just constantly going to be like too far behind. The only way, in my opinion, to get really, really rich is you go all the way into your flow state task, for me it's speaking, and if the market just ends up actually overlapping and then you get super, super rewarded, it's like you got l lucky in some ways and also you forced it in others. I think that's the way that you get rich these days. People just end up rewarding your flow state task just because that's like the nature of like business has just moved around, you know, our interests have just moved around. Imagine the guy who was studying AI, artificial intelligence, 10 years ago. It was kind of like, you know, like, who, who the fuck was talking about this? I'm sure, like, the, that space knew that it was still going to be massive. But as, like, normal people, we weren't thinking about AI 10 years ago when you were, like, 12 years old or whatever, however old you are, minus 10 years. We weren't thinking about it, right? So there was a guy studying it, not even thinking that he'd ever become rich from it. And then the market moved over and overlapped his interest, his flow states. Then he became a millionaire because, or billionaire because he's made some like AI product now. But I think that's the better way to go about it. And then a fantastic question you could ask is, okay, but what if the market never really overlaps my flow state task? If that happens, honestly, this sounds kind of lame, but I'll just tell you, use the same mindset from step one, which is like, yep, I don't even care about money. I'm doing the thing which really I enjoy. You know, here I am, the fisherman, like I'm having an awesome life because of that. As long as you're never hungry, as long as you're, you're meeting the baseline, you know, you're making a few K a month, which you absolutely will. If you go all in on one skill for decades, you're going to get to the point where you're making at least five to 10K a month, even way, way more than that. Imagine that. It doesn't even matter if it's not even like a great, like fancy skill to get into. But if you literally did it for decades, you'd get to the point where naturally you'd see the opportunities inside of that business model and everything. You'd be absolutely fine. And if the market does overlap, then okay, sweet. Then, you know, rinse it out, enjoy the extra money. But it's like, with this powerful mindset, it's like you don't even care. So the market overlapped my flow state task. I became quite successful. Here I am in the same house because the success and the money doesn't actually define me. It doesn't change me. If it changes you, then it shows that you're quite like a weak person. So you can either follow what's hot and trending right now, or you can just stay on your flow state task the gift that you have to humanity and just keep giving that at a greater level. The impact that I'm hoping for with this video is that more young men actually are taking a, a intelligent path to wealth, a more secure and actual, actually strong path. Again, even though they like there's male influencers who seem strong, their advice is actually awfully weak. And I wanna raise the strength of men. I want men to be more masculine. That comes from you following your purpose. Your flow state task is likely your purpose. So my advice isn't as cool. It's not gonna, probably not gonna get you like as much like club pussy, like, you know, random girls messaging you and stuff. It's probably not gonna get you that. You're not gonna get as many likes on Instagram and stuff, but it will get you enlightenment. It will get you love. It will get you faith. Instead of like the random girls, like, you know, sending you messages, you'll get more of the higher quality, spiritual, open, loving women who trust you. And you'll have better sex with them as well, by the way. 
than like the little degenerates. I just want more young men to be like happy and productive and to have like something to work hard for. And it really saddens me to see so many young men just jumping around business models, just chasing the money in such a weak mindset. And then, you know, feeling so bad about themselves when there's such a stronger way to go about this pursuit of wealth. If you'd like to help that mission, just do something very quick. If you just scroll down right now and click on the like button, or maybe you can write a comment, the YouTube algorithm will like share this video around. More young guys can see it. So here's your actionable step for this part of the guide. We want you to figure out your flow state task. I'll have a card come up on screen where you can go on my channel and it's the flow state focus full guide. It's really worth watching. Figure out what your flow state task is. It's really worth your time to know what work, what task, what like hour of your day do you have zero thoughts, which just puts you into this beautifully present mode as I am here with zero thoughts in my mind. You know why this actionable step is worth doing? Because when you figure out your flow state task, you finally know what to go all in on. No more jumping around business model to business model. You've got something which doesn't change and you can literally just stick to it now. Okay, this is the thing I'm going to like use to make money. 